From Olympia, this is Hans Zeiger, your state representative for the 25th District. Today I want to talk about taxes. Last week, the governor rolled out a massive proposal for tax increases. His proposal includes extending a B&O tax surcharge, extending the 50 cent beer tax, repealing sales tax exemption for local residential telephone service, extending sales tax to customer computer software, trimming preferential B&O tax rates for most industries by 25 percent, repealing the sales tax exemption for non-residents of Washington, which will impact our border counties, repealing the sales tax exemption on bottled water, eliminating the preferential tax rate for resellers of prescription drugs, repealing the B&O tax exemption for long-term rental of commercial real estate, narrowing the tax exemption for import commerce, $24.1 million, repealing the sales tax exemption for farm auction pur purchases, and others I have not mentioned. The list goes on and on. It's a long list, and I want you to know that I'm strongly opposed to the governor's plan for tax increases. The fact is that Washington is expected to take in $2 billion more in the coming budget cycle. There's no reason we need to raise taxes. I should also point out that the Washington State Economic and Revenue Forecast Council recently noted that while construction and housing is up in Washington, the economy remains fragile. Not only is the governor's tax package unnecessary, it could have harmful impacts on economic recovery. I've already heard from several business owners in Puyallup who are worried about the prospect of higher taxes. My caucus's budget writers have been diligently working with the Majority Coalition Caucus in the state Senate to create a budget solution that avoids tax increases. We intend to show the citizens of Washington State that we can fund education first, protect our most vulnerable citizens, and prioritize public safety without massive tax increases. Well, that's it for this update. Thanks for watching and keep in touch.